Madhouse Telephone presents the Autocron STM, narrated by Pat Fleet. Back before home computers and cell phones, when a person wanted to check the correct time, they would do so by telephone. In the early days, it was a simple matter to ask the operator for the correct time. As the telephone network got busier and more automated, a special number was used to connect to an operator that did nothing but time announcements. When you hear the tone, the time will be 9.33 and one quarter. In the early 1930s, John Franklin invented a machine to do time announcements. This was the Autocron. Over time, the machine was improved and refined. Early designs that used film strips for recordings led to the R-72 of 1946. Later versions used Hypalon bands impregnated with iron filings on round drums as a recording media and were housed in a cast metal assembly with a drive motor on top. Internal gearing, running in transmission fluid, advanced the drum slightly every minute to play the correct recording. A carriage followed a groove cut in the gear case, moving the playback heads over the drums. The message is in three parts. The advertisement plays first and could automatically change every hour. Let Ben Reagan and First Citizens National Bank help you with all your loan needs. Then, the hour and minutes are played from the other drum. Every six cycles, the minute drum would advance to the next track. Note the stickers placed on the minute and hour drums. Watch closely as the marks show the movement. Time 10, 26. Time 10, 27. In 1958, temperature readings were introduced. A separate mechanism plays the temperature. Trisha Stanley, one of our friendly tellers at First Citizens National Bank. Time 11, 55. Temperature 77. The temperature drum has announcements from minus 40 to 120 degrees recorded on it. A circuit compares the resistance from an outdoor probe to a slide resistor on the mechanism. And the playback head is moved to match by a servo motor. Temperature is 66. Temperature is 69. Temperature is 73. A latch keeps the head from moving while the announcement is playing. Temperature is 76. Temperature Here is how calls are handled. At the start of each cycle, a control pulse is sent to the line cards. 54, 52. Temperature 62. Let First Citizens National Bank's Tommy Ruth Abbott acquaint you with... When a call comes in, the call waiting lamp lights. At a control pulse, the call is answered and the CA lamp lights. 53. Temperature 62. Let first citizens the message is played, and the call disconnects at the next control pulse. Time 4, 53. Temperature 62. Let First Citizens National Bank... This STM is equipped to answer 12 calls each 10-second cycle, for a capacity of 4,320 calls per hour. Each call is counted, and Autocron was the only advertising media that could provide an exact count of callers hearing the advertisement. Time 4, 54. Temperature 62. Let First Citizens National Bank's Tommy Ruth Abbott acquaint you with our many services. Time 4, 55. Temperature 62. Let First Citizens National Bank's Tommy Ruth Abbott acquaint you with our many services. Time 4, 55. Temperature 62. Let First Citizens National Bank... If anything happens to the sound output, visit Lori folks at our time-saving drive-in. 
Time 10.34. The voice alarm is tripped, blocking incoming calls. The same thing happens if the temperature goes out of range, via the sensor alarm. Over 1,000 Autocron machines were in service by 1972, but only seven mechanical versions are known to survive. Of these, only three have the temperature mechanism, and only one of those is in running condition. I call her Jane, in honor of Jane Barbie who voiced this machine. At the tone, Pacific Standard Time will be time to party and 30 seconds. Pat Fleet continues the tradition of recording messages for telephone users to this day. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hi, I'm Susie, and I work for the phone company. We don't know. Hi, I'm Larry, and I work for the phone company. We don't know. Hi, I'm Nancy, and I don't know what I'm doing. We don't know what we're doing. The Madhouse Telephone Company.